him today we are going to do the inverter which consists of two PMOS and NMOS connected together okay so here we are going to start with the substrate the 3d version and the two-dimensional version so you have the substrate over here we start with the end moss this is the end in a piece substrate right This is the end transistor. Okay, then you have the oxide. Oxide here, this layer. The oxide. And on top of the oxide is the polysilicon. the gates so this is the drain the gate and the source so drain gate and the source now we do the PMOS which is on the side on the right hand side so the PMOS is P and P so they have to live in, in an N well this is the N well and the bottom here is the P as usual so you have your well okay on top of uh, the channel there is the oxide layer here this is the oxide and then on top of the oxide is the polysilicon Okay, here we can name the terminal this is the drain the gate and the source so now if we connect them here this is the input and this is the output so the NMOS the source is connected to ground the drain the drain gate source drain gate source the drains are connected together the gates are connected together and this is the in and here is the out and this is the PDD. Okay, so this is uh, the one on the right hand side below here is just the rotated version of the left hand side. Okay, so how do we do the connections? The connections are done using uh, metal. So if you want to connect the source to the ground, it means that you're actually connecting the source to the ground and the well. So here you are going to put in a contact here. This is the contact. Right? And you're going to put a piece of metal. The metal is on top. So you put a mat contact here to the, 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 the ground to, which is connected to the body. So this is the body and you are going to connect the uh, source which is this terminal to this. So you are going to make it wider, connect here and here okay 
So what you must know that the bottom most layer is the substrate, the next layer is the end well, then you can put the, either the end or the P, and then you have the oxide, polysilicon, and then only metal. Metal it will be on top. So for in order for the metal to go down to connect to the end, we have something known as the contact or the via. So this is the via or contact. Right, and this terminal over here is the ground terminal. So we have done this part. Now we go to the VDD part. So we have the connection to this part. This is the drain, the gate, and the source. So we would like to connect the source to the VDD. So we uh, we would like to connect this part and this here, the well, the two, to VDD. So we put in another metal layer which is connected to the P well and the N well, sorry, and the P. And this is connected to PDD. Okay. So the finally you have the input are connected together. The input connected together is you can connect them. They both are polysilicon layer. So we can connect them together like this. This is a polysilicon layer. And the output, the output is from the drains. So the drains here, we have to connect them together. So how do we connect them? We connect them using metal. This is the connection to the drain. Okay, so now what we need to do is we are going to represent this three-dimensional drawing into a two-dimensional drawing which is the stick diagram. The stick diagram represents the 3D diagram into a 2D diagram which is easy to draw manually. So we are going, we, because the engineers do not want to draw, always draw the 3D diagram. So they want to represent this diagram into the 2D diagram. Okay, so what we do we have first? We have the P substrate. So I will use green for the P substrate. So this is the P substrate. Okay, now I am going to do the wells. So the end wells over here, these two, you can represent it. Let's extend this a bit. Send it here so that it matches here. Okay, so we do the end well. This is the end. So you imagine you are going to look at it from top view. How would it look like? So it would look like this a square
which in the middle is the polysilicon. Okay, now the same thing for the PMOS. The PMOS we would draw, project it here. P well and you have the N well which is in the middle. So this is the N well. Okay. So the width and the length is dependent on the size here. So this is L and this is W. So this is L and this is W. Same here, W and L. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to do the connections. So the connections are the one with the metal. So the ground connection. So the ground connection is actually here. You put, you represent this metal. If you look at it from the top view, it will be like this. And it has this via or contact which we will use as an X. This is the via or contact. We represent it as X and a via or contact here which we represent as X. So this terminal is ground. The same way we have the VDD. This is the metal layer. Okay. So you have connection to the transistor and connection to the substrate and this is named as VDD. Now we need to connect the poly, polysilicon which represents the input in red. So we can put it here. Okay, so this will all be poly. Okay, the final connection is the metal connection here which is the out. This is the out. So we connect this output like this here. And because it has a via, so we put an X. Okay, so this is the output, this is the input, and that is it. So you have, this is the stick diagram for the inverter. So this is the front view or the cross section of the inverter. You can see that all the layers are written here from the P substrate to um, the N plus layers and the oxide layer, the poly, and the metal. The metal is in blue, right? And on the PMOS side, you have the P substrate, the N well, P plus, poly, and the oxide, and the metal. So here, what is important here, this is the metal, and this is known as the contact. And the contact means that the top layer is connected to the bottom layer. So here the contact connects the metal layer to the P plus and here the metal layer connects to the N plus. In the next part we have we have added the connections of the substrate tabs or also known as the well contact. So you have the substrate tabs or the well contacts are connected either to VDD. Uh, or ground right so for VDD you can see here VDD is for the PMOS and the uh, VDD you remember the inverter schematic right the VDD is connected to the PMOS right and also the connected to the body of the 
Okay, so here this VDD is connected to the P. Here. And the VDD is connected to the N plus or connecting to the body. This is the body of the N well. And for the ground, it is for the N MOS. And the N MOS. It is the ground is connected to the source of the NMOS here this is the source of the NMOS and also connected to the the P substrate or the body of the P substrate and how do it connect there how does the ground connect so the ground has a VR and connects with a P plus okay so you can just remember the VDD connects via an N plus and the ground connects via a P plus. We have the layout or this is also known as the mask set. So in the VLSI design, each layer is fabricated one by one. So for example, the bottommost layer which is the substrate is in the wafer and then you have the N the end layer here uh, the diffusion this is the end diffusion right and this is in this area so what you are actually drawing is actually drawing the top view when you are uh, drawing for the VLSI design you are actually drawing the top view and you are drawing each layer so these layers will be used as a mask for the fabrication of the layers so this is the end diffusion this one was the poly this side is the P diffusion the blue is the metal the black is the contact or the connection also known as the VS okay so you can see here, uh, this is the inverter, so this is the NMOS, and this is the PMOS, and they are connected together, this is the IN, and this is the OUT, the VDD is connected to the PMOS, and the ground is connected to the NMOS the ground okay and you have the well context or the body context where this is uh, the P plus and this is the N plus right so this is connected to ground for the P MOS uh, sorry for the N MOS and this is connected to the VDD for the P MOS okay this is all for the um, drawing of the layout.